from a process perspective. All your organizational policies and procedures are built around the human workforce. And then along comes this digital workforce. The first engagement you'll have with your security teams, you'll be asking for a log on for the robots. Usually that's the first time the security team have even heard of these safe robots that are being allowed into the organization. They've spent most of their careers defending your architectural estate from the invasion of the bots. So you talk to them about these robots, they're going to be fearful at first, quite rightly, it's their job. So you need to explain to them how these are safe and secure and how there's a logical access model that wraps around all of this. Have those conversations proactively, early in the journey, bring them in so that they're part of that journey. What about these um, random updates to our um, desktops that we all get? You just get fired down while we're working and we're humans and we can respond to that, can't we? So many times I've seen it that the digital worker gets set up, virtual worker set up, and then the desktop updates get fired down, Windows update, and then nobody's taught the robot how to deal with that, so the robot stops, said, I'm going to have to stop, because nobody's told me about this. So think of a policy that says, okay, the humans, they can get their uh, policies, their upgrades randomly, but actually what we'll do with the robotic workforce is at 2 a.m., we'll cascade it out to all of the robots. You've got control. It's a simple change, but it's the sort of change that doesn't happen unless your organization is truly embracing the digital workforce. And these screen savers, us humans, <laughs> we leave our desks, we go to the coffee machine, we go and have a chat with our friends, if you've got any. <laughs> a robot definitely doesn't have any friends. It just sits there working. So why have a screen saver kicking in every 10 minutes? We see it sometimes where people write a process that actually nudges the screen every nine minutes to make sure the screen server doesn't kick in. That's a workaround. If that's happening, I can hear laughter because I'm sure there's people that have written those processes that are in the audience now. So why would you need that for a digital worker, right? Why would you work around? Why wouldn't you tackle that as a policy and say, look, we need to have policies for our robotic workforce. So I can always look at an organization when I, when I talk to my customers, and if I, if I see these sort of workarounds, it tells me that there isn't this true cultural adoption across the organization yet. It will be teams that are driving it forward, driving forward the establishment of a COE, but without truly the organization buying in to exactly what it needs to establish the digital workforce. So this thing robot here is about evolving the policies for the digital workers.